What up, it's your boy Roll 100 and I'm back with this video. I'm gonna continue on this video. Basically, so I stopped briefly. I had a kind of a split Instacart shift today. I had a couple of hours and then I had an hour break that I was gonna use, you know, to pretty much just take a break and then start back again. What happened was it was kind of slow. So I had a couple of deliveries and then the turtle came up for Instacart, which sent letting you know it's a slow day and asked if I want to leave early. And I figured it would probably make sense to do so. That way I could make some other money in between shifts. So I took the early out. I just happened to go on the Grubhub and noticed that there was a block available from 11 to 12.30. And at this time it was like maybe 10 minutes to 11. I had about a few minutes to get you know, to, to my Grubhub area that I like to deliver in. So I went on ahead and accepted the block. Went into the area that I like to deliver in with Grubhub. Unfortunately, Grubhub was very slow this morning. It was not a good day for Grubhub either. So, well, at least not during the time I, I, I was able to get a block, which was from 11 to 12.30. So I went to, you know, where where normally is hot at, the hot spots they, they suggest me. Also, the hot spots that I that I usually know to be hot, and nothing was really. I, I didn't get one order 11 and 12:30. I didn't get receive one order, one request. You know, it was Grubhub. Nevertheless, Grubhub does have an hourly guarantee in my in my area. I'm pretty sure they have in most areas, but I know in my region there's there's an hourly guarantee of uh, ten dollars an hour. So I still make fifth. I still made fifteen dollars in that hour and a half, which an hour of it I was going to take for lunch, but. Hour and a half, I made 15 bucks. So I didn't do any driving. I'm not bragging about it because, you know, the whole point was for me to uh, get a few orders and try to make some money during that time. However, since I didn't have to drive anywhere to be able to receive $15 for that time of being available to drive if they needed me, it's cool for me. You know, I appreciate that. So you know, it was a way to make some money. Now I did that. Instacart ship starts at one. You about to get to this Instacart, you feel me? So I think I just want to make clear when it comes to uh, working hourly guarantee i mean it's cool if the platforms offer hourly guarantee but obviously the the the, um, the idea is for us to be busy enough to where you make more money than than hourly guarantee would give you but that that gives you a little bit of cushion in case of a, a slow hour here or hour there for some people that's working on longer days for those of you guys that work shorter days i, I would say you know if you want to make more money to concentrate more on your tips concentrate more on, on, on the quality of what you're delivering and professionalism and, and and put smiles on people's faces and you're gonna get paid anyway if if you are on the the grubhub platform let me let me make this clear there may be areas that don't get orders like out at the edges of the boundaries of the region that you might be working in do not get caught hanging around in those areas trying not to get an order even though i can't understand why a person would not want to order i mean i understand the, i already guarantee but to go out of your way to, to waste gas money to go to a particular area or something to me it, i don't understand it it's it's hustling ass backwards we call it bass backwards it's hustling bass backwards you feel me if if you sign up for a block on any platform but Right now, I'm speaking on Grubhub. If you if you sign up for a block on Grubhub, please be available to work your block. Go to where you may get an order at. I'm not telling you. I'm not going to suggest that you drive all the gas out of your car looking for orders, chasing orders. No, especially if all you got was an hour and a half block. So if you do a lot of driving around and you don't get an order or two, then obviously it definitely wasn't working. You probably end up losing money. I'd say go to where... Once you do it, you'll you'll understand where where most of the orders come from, and you'll know where to go, and go like to those areas. Go to you know the one area. If you got another area, then go to the other area. Give it a shot. You know, just try to be available, so that if you do get an order, you can call and get it. Because the thing about it is, listen, if you're sitting at home, or if you're sitting at the edge of these boundaries, if you miss, if they give you one order. I don't care if it's five dollars if you don't take it you're not gonna get paid anyway so be prepared to do a delivery or to do several deliveries i mean i don't understand why would you be signed up to a delivery company if your job isn't not to get 
delivery orders. You got to be honest on both ends when it comes to these platforms. A lot of people, they tend to shift a lot of blame onto the platforms and say that they being shady and they stealing our tips and they doing this. Well, I mean, look, man, count your money. Be honest on your side. You know what I mean? And if you do the right thing, trust me, the money going to come. I'm telling you. I know. I get it. Every day. It's your boy Roll 100. Just got my first order since we started back up. I'm sorry, my second order since we started back up with Instacart for the second time. And I'm at, at Earth Fair, so I'm going to do a shop. It's not a delivery only. Um, I really do not like shopping at this store. And it's not because I, I finally learned my way around the store because it's not one of the places they were sending us to normally. But I really don't like to shop at this store now for the simple fact that they do not ever have everything in stock on the list that I'm picking up for somebody. And I just looked at the, the, the order that I just got, and it's 29 items, and I'm really hoping like hell that they got everything because it's really aggravating when you try to do your best job and be efficient and get everything that the customer asks for. And every corner you turn, something's out of stock or the replacement they ask for is not available. And at Earth Fair, it's it's a healthy supermarket so i understand that they they don't have the abundance of things like everybody do but then that's the downfall of it they people shopping at this healthy supermarket and they're not getting everything that they really expect to get because so far i've gone i've come here three times and each one of my shops have been way longer than they should have for the simple fact that they didn't have most of the things and i spent most of my time uh, contacting the customer seeing if they would like some type of replacement or be refunded for for an item or so so you know if you come in here and you only picking up 10 items and then you got to give a refund for a couple of items and you, you cutting into your own money anyway so it's just not really worth it we're gonna see how this one goes hopefully everything go cool i'm going in here with a positive mind at the end of the day it's not a hot day and i and i, you know, I gotta make a certain amount of money when it comes to these platforms each day so I'm going here and make it. You feel me? Roll 100. All right, man. You already know it's your boy Roll 100. I do it so you don't have to, man. When you roll, make sure it's 100. Peace.